Hi everybody, Lisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Um, today is, I remembered, is Wednesday. And um, <laughs> lucky I remember that. Um, the mind is the first thing to go. <laughs> uh, and I, I remember that um, it's been a while since I did a Wallet Wednesday, which is something I I always uh, I, I like to try to do every now and then since it's Wednesday, uh, just talk about a wallet. And um, that gives me an opportunity to talk about an item which, although technically not a wallet, is something that I use as a wallet. And this is one I, I found recently and hadn't talked about yet. And um, I realized in looking at this item again that I, I really do appreciate it um, because I'm coming off of, I'm going to switch out this wallet. This is the Audrey wallet. I've been using it for a couple of weeks and I do like it. Um, but I, uh, there's one thing that's that you don't get too much of in this wallet, and that's sort of uh, slip pocket areas, not the card slots. You get a lot of card slots in here, which is what I like about this wallet. Um, but you don't get a lot of like areas where you could stick uh, other papers, receipts, um, cash, you know, your bills, and. Um, <laughs> So when I was looking at this one, which is what I, you know, the first one I want to talk about it, I remember why I appreciate this and use this as a wallet, um, because you do get a lot of that feature. So this is the um, all-in-one crossbody. Um, this particular one, the tag says, was for iPhone 6 Plus. <laughs> so that tells you how old it is. Um, it's in Winter Palace, which is a pattern I just love. One of my favorite patterns as a Dillard's exclusive and it's hard to come by now on, on resale sites since I always keep an eye out for it. I do have um, a video on my other items in this which is one is the triples at Pipster and um, the other is a backpack and a lunch bunch. I think that's the term for that cooler. Peaches will you please stop that? Sorry. <laughs> um, Anyway, so when I saw this, I uh, saw this on eBay, um, and it was a super good price. I, I, I just, uh, I didn't hesitate, and the pattern placement isn't bad. So that's what, uh, one of the things that you want with this, I find that I want with this pat uh, pattern is to get nice animals. It has a couple of critters in it. Um, I didn't get the rabbit. It does have a rabbit. I didn't get the rabbit. But I was pleased with everything else, you know, and, and this is kind of a challenge with uh, for pattern placement on this item. Puppy, where'd you go? Rosie, come here. Rosie. Good girl. I better put her up here. She's going to wander off and pee somewhere. <laughs> come on, girl. Come on, girl, they love. Don't you want your ball? Your other ball? <laughs> Uh, sorry. So um, it's got this flap, and that kind of gives you a small piece of fabric here. So that can sometimes be a challenge as far as pattern placement, because stuff gets awkwardly cut off. Hello. Hi, can you please just play with your tennis balls in a sock, please? <laughs> Usually she likes her tennis balls in a sock. <laughs> Something my husband made for her. Here they are. Good girl. <laughs> um, so I saw the stag. That's one of the critters here. Um, and, and, you know, not too badly cut off, not too awkwardly, like the head isn't cut off. So I, I said, okay, I'll go for that. And this burst of flowers here is nice. What I like about this pattern is that it seems very elegant to me. Um, it's well named Winter Palace, as I said in my other videos, because it really does give you that sort of shimmery, wintry feel with the type of detail work and this, these dotted elements. So some of the elements, some of the leaves are just rendered in these dots, and that kind of gives you the illusion of right, winter, shimmery, frost uh, kind of feeling. Here you can see the other fawn along with that stag. I did get the cardinal, which is nice. Uh, and also, 
You have got to leave the pillows alone. Leave the pillows alone. I'll say the, there's a couple of butterflies in this pattern. There's one of them. Oh, I'm sorry, peaches. Please don't chew that, though. Ah. Uh, and you get this flap. It's not lined. This, this pattern did have a pretty lining and it's on some of the items, but it's not in this item. So it's just this black nylon. Um, and so when I, when I do show the features, I may move to another uh, version of this, a different pattern, just so you could see stuff better because it's hard on the black. Okay, you need to stop going all cray cray. Just calm down. Um, so it's got this stra crossbody strap. I don't usually use, I, I've never used this as a crossbody. I won't probably ever. It's a little small for me for that. But um, it, it's removable, adjustable and removable with lobster claw clasps. <laughs> and it's got this uh, wristlet strap which I do like because it's fabric and so I leave it on because it makes it easier to grab in the bag but on other ones like another one that I'll show this is pleather and I take that right off <laughs> I don't have any need for pleather this is a magnetic snap closure and um, what I do like about this is that even with my iPhone uh, 11 it's the 11 it's not the pro so it's the bigger one the pro is actually smaller um, it does fit in that front pocket. So that, that's nice. So if I ever, you know, want to use this just as a clutch, I can, you know, use it to contain my phone as well. Always chewing. Anyway, so then it has two uh, zipper sections. Now in the um, focus group that I'm in, um, there, there was talk of uh, testing a, a version of this, and I, and I got this feeling that either they were going to discontinue this or make dramatic changes to it, and I don't think they ever did, and I was, I'm pleased about that because um, I, I think it really does function. For me, it really functions the way that I want it to. So it has these two zip-around sections, and this one lays open flat, which is nice. I like that. Oh, there you can sort it with the light you can see all the features so it's got a whole bunch of the card slots got your ID window and then one two three four eight card slots in here but the thing and it's got this section where you can put your bills but the thing that I was missing in this is that it has all of these other slip pocket areas it's got two on each side of this section. And I really use those. I use those for receipts. I use those for coupons. I use those for lottery tickets. <laughs> uh, okay, all it takes is a dollar. A dollar in a dream. I don't think it's a dollar anymore. Um, and then in the second, uh, I'll show it again in a, one that doesn't have a black lining. But on the second zipper section, it's got this this zipper pocket in between the gussets, the two gusseted sections, and each section has a slip pocket on one wall. And so that's a lot of slip pockets. And I really was missing that. I mean, I really do use those. So um, here I will, like I said before I put this one aside, just so, so excited to always, to, whenever I see something that is of interest and a decent price in this because people know what they have with this when they're selling it. It can be a little pricey um, and, and you know it's, it's very hard to come by. There's always only a few items um, at any given time and I can't even remember the last time I saw a tote. I mean maybe once. Please don't do that. Please don't. You don't need to chew on your wee-wee pad. <laughs> um, I think maybe once I saw a, a small trim Vera tote. I don't like the trim Vera tote, so I didn't get that. But um, yeah, it's very rare. Okay, so something else I... Don't jump off there. Oh, my word. <laughs> 
So this is another all-in-one crossbody and sure thing. Also, I had, had never shown this one, and um, I, I did buy this it, new with tags, but on eBay. I wanted I, I I was never able to find in a store decent pattern placement, and I was always wanting good seahorses. I know there's fish and turtles, and they're also and starfish, and they're all lovely, but I really wanted the seahorse. And so when I saw that front flap with that seahorse complete and the head of the other one there that nice piece of orange coral and another seahorse on the back I said well okay <laughs> um, so you can see here maybe a little bit better the configuration uh, it's again a shame that they don't use a pattern lining let me get her ball for her you drop your ball <laughs> um, but you can see all those pockets, including these ones that I'm, I'm saying I'm, I use so much and really missed. And I forgot that this ha has them, so, so many of them. And here, this even has a different, this version, which is more recent um, than this one. Yeah, this only has the two slip pockets here and that section with the, the zippered divi divider. Um, but in this section with the zipper, you know, the zipper divider, you get those two slip pockets, but then there are card slots on top of those. So that's nice. Rosie, Rosie, come here, please, Rosie. What happened to your ball? Did you drop your ball again? I think you might have to just deal with it for a little bit. Come here. Nobody listens to me in this house. <laughs> um, anyway, so again, just just a great um, a great item to use for me as a wallet. I would never, like I said, never carry crossbody. It's a little too small uh, for me. But just to give a basic measurement, it's about seven. It's a long way about four it does have some thickness to it Maybe about two inches thick so that was, those were my two recent all-in-one crossbodies and this this pattern I've talked about this pattern before and I, I so I won't talk too much about it um, and I can put some links sorry the dog just knocked the camera <laughs> Um, to, to the videos where I talk about this pattern more, but it's just it's just so lovely. I mean, you get all this nice, delicate coral in there. This is a little bit hard to see, but this is a shell here. And I'm someone who really likes the water or the ocean, so this pattern really appealed to me. And then the one other thing I want to talk about, it won't be a, a too long of a video, was something I found in Tuesday Morning. I don't know if people know about Tuesday Morning, sort of a discount store, and um, they do have Vera. Recently they've started having Vera. Um, and that's where I found this, you know, new, with tag. It had the tag, which was, uh, what is this called again? RFID Grab and Go Wristlet. This is Cuban Stamps. Um, I do have a, I think it's a medium cosmetic in this bag or a smaller or medium cosmetic in this bag as well. But that's all I have in this bag. It's, you know, a novelty um, print. And so I don't know, you know, I can never really see myself carrying it in a bag, although for, uh, it was a, a number of online outlet sales ago. It was still available in one of the tote styles. I don't know if it was just the tote bag or the Vera tote, the old style Vera tote. That just seemed a little bit much. But it's nice in little touches. And this has, uh, as the name suggests, the zipper zips around. It's gusset. It doesn't lay flat. The gusset is also the fabric, which is nice. You get a little bit of the lining fabric there that uh, play on the... Uh, stamp when the stamp is run through the machine that's processed. 
and you get the lot the wavy lines and what I like about this of course you know people have all different feelings about Cuba for me Cuba is sort of like a forbidden island in a way very intriguing um, and really uh, had I think people forget it had a very strong arts culture music dance um, visual arts so uh, it's a shame you know that it's so closed off still um, wonder what she's gonna do next <laughs> and what I do like about these stamps um, is that they make use of the classic cars which you see if you've seen any photos of Cuba you know they're all over the island it's like the island is frozen in time um, and so that you do have some stamps there you know with these classic cars which is nice I'm a big car uh, fan L love to go to car shows and, and look at cars and there's another one with a yellow so I, I when I saw that I thought that was kind of neat I like that they incorporated that and you see all the other you know the, the rooster the fish the hibiscus you know a very tropical there's a better right side up shot of the rooster the dominoes there and this style is one piece of fabric and wraps around so if the pattern had an obvious right side up you know on one side it would seem upside down but it, on this it doesn't matter so that's nice and it's just a very simple and it's smaller uh, you know than my normal not as long I did try cramming my phone in here and it just fit in but I, I wasn't liking that it was so crammed so I wouldn't use it to uh, I wouldn't use it in that way I wouldn't use it as a clutch um, you know with the hopes of getting my phone in there Rosie please don't do anything crazy over there okay I can give you the basic measurement just under seven Maybe about four so that's interesting so it's very similar yeah similar in size but it's thinner I mean that makes sense it's only has that you know the one section I tend to like a gusset that opens a little bit wider which is like why I like that uh, double accordion wristlet I, I know they're just calling it an accordion wristlet now but does have a double gusset and I really like that because it gets you that open just opening a little bit more um, and I just thought you know for to get a little taste of the more another taste of this pattern because I don't use my cosmetic that often and so you know I thought this would be fun to have just almost sort of like from a collector's standpoint I just get a little bit of this pattern because um, I know like I said I'm not gonna ever get a big bag in this or anything so that was those were my those are my wallets that I thought I would talk about today. Again, this was the grab and go wristlet. And this is, as people probably know, the all in one crossbody, which you, you can still, they're still making this in the current um, fabrics. I don't know if they've changed the configuration of the interior sections that much, but um, it's basically still the same thing. I should mention, <laughs> I, do, I do, as people can tell, I took the straps off this have them here. Please don't eat my tape measure. <laughs> uh, this is the crossbody in the matching fabric. But this is the wristlet in pleather. So that came right off. And I keep all of my <laughs> this isn't because people sometimes ask me <clears throat> I've had requests this was a long time ago, but I had a couple of requests to um, do a video showing the smaller accessories, especially the cosmetic trios and other little pouches and how I use them in alternate ways because people were noticing that I sometimes use them in uh, not so typical ways. <laughs> I never did get around to doing that. I'm sorry about that. Um, I also, I think I probably felt like it wasn't really that interesting. <laughs> but I do keep, if anyone's curious, all of my straps and wristlets straps that I'm not interested in using uh, I keep them all in here <laughs> so this is 
quite a little collection of crossbody, basically crossbody straps that I'll never use. <laughs> this is where crossbody and pleather wristlet straps go to die. In my, uh, I think this is the large uh, pouch, oops, of the cosmetic trio, and this was Jazzy Blooms. <laughs> I found this at Plato's Closet, and the Plato's Closet by me is really, just really tends to have crap, Vera. It's very disappointing. I don't really go there that much anymore. But this was like one of the few things I found there. I was, you know, of any interest. <laughs> sort of almost like pop art, these big explosive uh, flowers. Sort of, oh, maybe a little Warhol-esque. With a good uh, lining color. That's a great melon color. This is the kind of color that I'm always trying to find bikinis in because this color looks good against very tan skin, and I tan well. <laughs> so, good Italian olive complexion. Anyway, so thanks so much for watching my Wallet Wednesday video with my uh, grab and go wristlet and the all in one uh, crossbody. Hopefully, see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day. Okay, Rosie. Rosie, stop that. Oh, God. <laughs>